Hi there. Welcome once again to the itinerant librarian. This is Angel Rivera. And this is another of my under five reviews where I tell you what you need to know about a book and help you decide whether you want to read it or not in five minutes or less. Today I am reviewing The King of Confidence by Miles Harvey, a tale of utopian dreamers, frontier schemers, true believers, false prophets, and the murder of an American monarch. This is the story of James Strang, probably one of the greatest American confidence men, con men, that you may not have heard of. I knew I never knew about it until I read the book. Strang basically formed a cult, an offshoot of the Mormons. He made his base in a small island in the Great Lakes with a few followers. Then he declared himself God's prophet and king on earth. However, Strang was a man who was able to often transform himself and he went from one con to another. He was also a skilled lawyer, and he even became a Michigan State representative at one point. This biography and history book covers from his rise to his death. A strength of the book is that it provides a broad and detailed picture of antebellum United States. This book is not just a biography, it is a well-written history of antebellum U.S. through James Strang's eyes. The book is also a well-documented and researched book, and the author makes great use of primary sources. In fact, some of those newspaper articles that he uses uh, are quite interesting on their own. With a bit of editing, this book could be a movie or a mini-series that one of those streaming services can pick up. I recommend the book for public and academic libraries. It is recommended for readers who enjoy U.S. history, historical biographies, and books about crimes and cons. You can find a full written review of this book on my blog. I originally read the book via NetGalley and the book is published by Little Brown and Company. Again, the book is The King of Confidence by Miles Harvey. Once more, thank you for tuning in and watching. And in the words of Walter Mercado, mucha paz y mucho amor. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.